as viewers all over the world. I want to speak about uh, another mighty divine secret in marriage that you should be able to understand and uh, be very careful with what you do in marriage and how you do marriage. And because there is a very mighty thing that God does through marriage. God can bring kings and rulers through marriage. Remember that uh, people are born from a family, from a marriage, and uh, they become kings. You cannot claim that this came around just by mistake. No. God uses marriage to bring up kings and rulers. Remember, during the times of Samuel, the priest of the Most High God, Samuel, the servant of the Lord. The Bible says in Samuel chapter 1, as first Samuel chapter 16, verses 1 to 3, the Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from the reigning over Israel? Fill your horn with oil, and I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite. For I have provided for myself a king among the sons. Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. And I invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you what you shall do. And you shall anoint for me the one I name to you. Hallelujah. You see, God has intended that through the family of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, uh, I will raise up a king. This is a marriage, and then it is a family. And then God says, from that family, I want to raise up a king after my own heart, a king who will serve me, the one I have appointed. At this time, God has already rejected Saul because of disobedience. And then he goes to a marriage, a family, and then raises up another ruler and a king. Precious servants of the Lord, it is a strong teaching I give to you. Honor marriage. Be careful with marriage. How you do marriage. Because through marriage, God brings up kings and rulers. And one of the best and wonderful kings we have in the Bible, who came from a certain marriage of this family of Jesse the Bethlehemite, and became a good king in Israel, it is David. So, God bless you as you realize, understand, and open your eyes, and change your ways on how you handle marriage, how you get married, and what you are doing in marriage, and how you are bringing up children, because from marriage, God raises up kings and rulers. In Jesus' name, amen.